What's up, guys? Here we are again for another reaction. So today we're ready to continue our journey on reactions to TV shows. And the TV show we're going today is the one and only The Walking Dead. Well, guys, uh, episode five. Hopefully, after the five episodes, we'll be finally uh, getting to know where Sophie is, you know. I think we are really close to, to figure out that. Uh, that's like my expectation for this episode. Unless if they decided to go with season two regarding the, the search of Sophie, but I don't think so, you know. Hey anyway, guys, uh, today's uh, intro and conclusion will be very quick because I need to go to my uh, workplace very soon, so I cannot spend five, six minutes on intro and conclusion. So yes, guys, uh, I don't think like I should say anything else because we are on this moment right now on search of Sophie with some uh, um, unexpected moment as well. The the Asian guy now forgot his name, uh, banging the chick from the house. Uh, what else we had? Um, Laurie found out that she is pregnant. Yes, so let's see like what's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure this episode around will be having also unexpected scenes, moments like we are having all the time, yeah. But guys, before we jump to the actual episode five, as always, please keep me with love, energy, by subscribe to my channel. Just one click, you're gonna make me much more, uh, you know, happy with the right energy to keep doing these things, you guys. Almost every day, and yes, it's always up for having fun. And let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Wow, don't tell me that's like moments before. Yeah, this is when they know all the people they left the cars behind on that bridge. Are we gonna go soon? I don't know, baby. I sure hope so. I'm hungry. I know, Carl. We all are. This guy is still alive. Shane is still his hair. So, this is already. And on apocalypse time, but um, it's moments before they kind of like found uh, Rick and all this stuff. Are you getting anything? There's nothing. I'm gonna go up the road, see what I can see. I'll come with you. Do you think they are showing us this, you know, because they are trying to tell us how that thing be, you know, between Shane and Laurie all started? Because we end up last episode with Laurie knowing that she's pregnant, so they are trying to tell us something. In this beginning. Your dad's nice. Shane's not my dad. <laughs> they all thought that Rick was dead. And now, from that perspective, I don't think that's uh, like uh, a huge mistake of Laurie having something with Shane, you know? Shane is like, was Rick's best friend, so might be the right person to take care of her. Maybe that's like the way she thought. You stay with me, come on. I wonder what they will spot. Wow, yeah, they need to do that. Same thing uh, that happened with Resident Evil. They need to close the city and make sure everything that is still breathing kill them all. And that's what they did. I had an idea I wanted to run by you. Well, what's that? Well, that big kitchen of theirs got me thinking. I wouldn't mind cooking in a real kitchen again. <laughs> yeah, especially an uh, old school woman. Really likes to be in the kitchen, make nice dishes for the children, for her husband. This one might miss the kitchen. Good morning, guys. Let's get going. We've got a lot of ground to cover. I know the area pretty well and stuff. Herschel's okay, okay. with this. New character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he said I should ask you. Head up to this ridge right here. Good idea. Maybe you'll see your chupacabra up there too. Chupacabra. Chupacabra. That's uh, the name of the this episode. So you believe in a blood-sucking dog? You believe dead people walking around? <laughs> Nice guitar. Dale found it on the highway. She is really on him, guys. So we are having a couple. We still have 11 condoms. Yeah, you see 11 condoms? I see 11 minutes of my <laughs> life. I'm never getting back. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Remember the name of that waitress of the Dairy Queen when we were in high school? Mary Ann. I was an artist in his prime. Protege. You mean prodigy? Prodigy, what you call young high school stud, banks 30 year olds on the regular? <laughs> That's the type of artist he was, yeah? Banging 30 years old at 15. Jeez. Mr. Daniel. <laughs> Mrs. Kelly. <laughs> the girl's volleyball coach? Wasn't she married? Oh, come on. Talk about your high school love life then, huh? Well, that's a short conversation. <laughs> Tell you what it is. It's like a drug. It keeps you from seeing things the way they are, and that's a danger. You got people depending on you. What you just mentioned reminds me a line that uh, is from a movie that will come very soon. Uh, nothing is more addictive 
than the past, and it's true. You honestly think we just gotta find Sophia alive? Are you that Jesus. sure we won't? I think she's still alive, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna write her off. That was a little bit forced acting. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna write that off. I can spot those small details in acting. What might be that? Might be something that Sophia had with her. That's Sophia uh, teddy bear, yeah? The toy that she was uh, handling. That's actually a dead person. Dead child. No, it's hers. Yeah, I think so. She was handling something. Hey. This episode around will be funny, Sophia. Hopefully not dead. Hopefully not dead. <gasps> oh, oh, that's the girl. This guy will fall from the horse. Will injure himself. There you go. Hey, hey, he's without a horse now. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, this can happen. The jungle is so unpredictable. Holy. How come? No, you will do. Wow, this reminds me of Rumble right now. He needs to reach the top, yeah? But, okay, he thinks it's better to keep the arrow. Maybe, maybe he should go. But it's too far from the house, I think. Like... He will struggle to get to the house. Hey, darling, bad shape. No way on that. That's like what happened. This is too many bad luck moments at the same time. I wonder if uh, on that they are afraid of water. Ah, okay. He was looking for his weapon. If he's not on that, he's like someone. You know? Someone that he will met. An actual person. Okay, yeah, I like this. Of course, he needs to struggle. It's a lot of pain. That arrow is inflicting him pain a lot. You're pregnant. Oh, no. He can't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> I like this shot, you know? Showing them straight away. I just had a long talk with Shane. He wants to call off the search. <laughs> she was expecting that uh, Chain mentioned to Rick that they had something. He says it's math, basic survival, how much fuel, how much food, how much ammo, not much room in that equation for being soft. I like that. Great line. Hey guys, this guy's dead. This guy's dead. One of my horses is missing. I love word with Daryl. And Jimmy? I took the boy at his word. Jimmy is 17. What do you suggest? Keep it simple. I'll control my people. You control yours. Yeah? Easy. See? Wise man. Wise words. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. There we go. I knew someone was here. Why, his brother! I don't believe. Won't you pull that arrow out, dummy? No, he's, he's having an illusion. You're gonna die on here, little brother. And for what? Girl. Yeah. And also, little girl. So when he's like in sh like this type of condition, you know, in the brink of death, they say when you're on the brink of death, you think about people that you love, you know, you want to to listen their words, what they think, and that's what exactly what is happening to him. He's uh, imagining his brother mentioning what he should do. He knows his brother is the right person to do so. This the same Rick that cuffed me to the rooftop in the first place. You his bitch now. I ain't nobody's bitch. You're a joke, mm. what you are. Ain't nobody ever gonna care about you except me, little brother. He's a great actor. Get up on your feet or I have to kick your teeth in. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look at like. Here you go. He's on that. Hey, guys. Hey, but great scene. But if he felt pain because his toes were getting bitten, so he might be. Contaminated. Hey, you guys are machine. Jesus. Flower. They have done this. Jesus, it looks so legit. Some of bitch is right. What? Jesus. Hey! This scene, this moment, made him much more a killer. Yeah, if you survive moments that you were in the brink of death, you become a warrior. Or you become crazy. I'm on your side! Yeah. 
Since when? Hell, since the day you were born, baby brother. I wonder when he will come actually to to the show again. You gonna come up here and shut my mouth for me? Well, come uh -huh. on and do it. Yeah, he has a big mouth. Daryl. <laughs> Grab your friend Rick's hand. See, his brother is what he has more often in his mind. That's why when he's like this condition, having hallucinations, that's what he thinks of. His brother. His brother is kind of like everything for him. He's his older brother. He's like his father, you know? He's his role model. Yeah, you better run! <sighs> there you go. What's going on with you and the Asian boy? I'm not 16. I know you're not. That's why I'm counting on you to be the mature one. <laughs> Guys, this guy, no, his words are so wise, are so on point. What's with the Annie Oakley routine? I don't want to wash clothes anymore, Dale. I want to help keep the camp safe. Okay, she's a spotter now. They changed roles. Maggie, she started off being mean to me. Then she wanted to have sex with me. And now she's being mean to me again. Yeah, this is what women are, you know? How do you know that Maggie wanted to have sex with you? Because I had sex with her. <laughs> Come on. Oh, son, you didn't. <laughs> Did it to you how her father might feel about this? Jesus, Glenn, what were you thinking? I was thinking that I might be dead tomorrow. There you go. Of course. You would have done the same. Come on. Walker! Walker! No way. That's Daryl, actually. Yeah, I Darryl. bet I can nail it from here. Andrea, put the gun down. Hey, uh, guys. She could have shoot him. But the bitch is a bad shit at all. What a bad day, twin. Look <laughs> at these monkeys, man. Andrea, don't! I think she will spot and she will like start screaming. No, oh, stop! Is that Daryl? It's the third time you pointed that thing on my head. You gonna pull the trigger or what? <laughs> I like this. No! No! Look! She did it, but where? I don't think it was in, you know, in his head, so it's fine. Guys, but the, the emotion, you know? Happened the opposite of the dimension. <sighs> hey, just a scratch. E fuck. But the, uh, she has a nice aim. Oh my god. Oh my oh god, my god yes. She's a great actress. What the hell happened? Look, he's wearing ears. Yeah, uh, they don't know what they have been through. I washed up on a creek bed right there. She must have dropped a cross in her somewhere. So I mean, Sophia. Passed by that place. Now they need to see if... where. I hate to say it, but I'm with her on this one. Daryl just risked his life to bring back the first hard evidence we've had. Yeah, I see Daryl almost died today for a doll. Yeah. Guys, come on. She's a little girl, so I think Rick is right. You know, they need to keep looking. You know? Uh, for a couple more days. Of course, not forever. But they need to keep looking because she's a little girl and she deserves a little bit more effort from... Our people. You know, Just all I care I... about now in this world is you and Carl. You see, I'll do whatever it takes to keep the two of you safe. Even abandoning a lost child, really. To keep you two safe. Ah, yeah, he cares about her and Carl. Okay, wow. He sees Carl like as his son as well. That's the thing, guys. I think there is a guy to be with her. I think Shane is the right dude. Oh, the shadow plates and everything. Wow. Oh, here we go. That was a, a nice thing to come to this place. Yes, Asian boy. No way they could have spotted this. Brought you some dinner. You must be starving. He almost died for her daughter. So that's why she's taking care of him. I like this woman a lot. You did more for my little girl today than her own daddy ever did in his whole life. Here you go. Wow. Daryl after Vic is my favorite. Let's see. Here you go. That's where they are about to do this shed. Let's see what's going to happen. This, no, the soundtrack is mentioning something to us. Something that will not be pleasing for them, especially. They will found something. Okay, she needs to stop him to get here. So he will found something. I'm dead. No. What the fuck is this? You were supposed to see this. <gasps> she knew about it, yeah, of course. 
guys, what the fuck is it this? They are hiding something, guys. But that's like how they thought that they would never found out this about them in this place. Some would you not know, try to get in this shed to see what you know, would be inside. Well, that was risky to not tell them about this. Good episode was not as good as the previous ones in my eyes, you know. Maybe because I was really expecting we will be finding Sophia this time around, you know, and uh, we'll keep going on uh, on the road. But I think the you no know, second season will be staying in this place and uh, on the search of Sophia. I think that's like what's gonna happen uh, on the second season. Five episodes is thirteen episodes or sixteen. I think it's no, I think it's thirteen. So we are slowly getting into the middle of the season. Wow. Guys, I'm so curious about the next episode. Next episode will be much better than this because I'm really curious about to see uh, why they are doing this with these undeads, why they are keeping these undeads here without killing them. Do you think these undeads is kind of like the people that were here that got you no know, contaminated and therefore uh, they became undead so they cannot get rid of them? You know, that's so this guy is a psychopath and uh, Rick will leave this place as soon as possible, you know? What he's doing with these undeads is making me believe this guy's mind, you know, the, the, the host, you know, the, the leader, the old guy. Something is not okay with him, you know. Uh, okay, so he wanted them out. So, in the end of the day, he never wish anything bad uh, to Rick's people, you know. So, in that perspective, uh yeah the, the thing that comes to my mind is that is that this old guy is not a, a baddie you know but this show i'm expecting twists and i think we are having a twist next episode you know uh, guys i'm excited to see next episode will take some time because i'm doing this show every two weeks but i think like that you know also makes every single episode special you know yes guys i need to leave because i need to go to more place as always, if you like this video, this reaction, press like button, comment if you think you know. I miss something, say something dumb, should know something about this episode before I go to the next without spoiling me, please. Share with your friends, they might like to watch someone else reacting to these incredible TV shows and other TV shows I'm doing. And subscribe to my channel, give me a lot of energy so I keep strong with the right momentum to keep you safe, you guys. And this is always open and fun, and most important of all, stay safe, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.